I'm going to tell you six habits happy people practice that help them achieve great success. Coming up. What is going on? My name is Ramesh. Welcome to another video on Mudgal's Musings, a channel dedicated to increasing your productivity, your prosperity and your well-being. If this happens to be your first time here, consider subscribing because I keep posting one interesting video every single week. And don't forget to hit that uh, bell button so that you don't miss out on anything exciting on this channel and you get notified every time I upload a new video. In the last video, we discussed about knowledge, attitude, skills and habits which are necessary and which play a significant role in determining one's success. And in this video, as we have already pointed out, we will be discussing about some of the habits that happy people follow. Now, habit number one, be kind to yourself. We need to be kind to ourselves. There are times when we have high expectations of ourselves. There are times when we set ourselves very high goals, very uh, big, uh, ambitious, aspirational goals. Now, while uh, being so, sometimes we may not be able to achieve them. Sometimes there will be a delay in achieving them. Sometimes our productivity may come down for a variety of factors. Uh, sometimes we may fall short of our own expectations. That doesn't mean that we are bad. That doesn't mean that we are failures. Well, we are human after all. So we need to be kind to ourselves. We have to speak, uh, you know, good words to ourselves. We need to appreciate our efforts and we need to introspect and reflect on what's, what has gone wrong, what has gone right, and how do we increase the rights and how do we decrease the wrongs. So by talking uh, good about oneself, by positive uh, reinforcement we are able to increase our own self-confidence we are able to increase our own belief in ourselves and uh, resultant as a result we will be able to increase our productivity and we will definitely be able to achieve our goals one of the things that many of us fail to recognize is appreciating what we already have being grateful to what we already have so when we compare ourselves to many people, although comparison may not be a good idea, but if we look at ourselves and what we have accomplished and what we have achieved and what we already have, it, it can be the, the health that we are having. It can be a beautiful roof over us that we are having. It could be the uh, food that we are having on our table. It could be the kind of dresses that we are wearing. It could be the bank balance that we may be having though we may have aspirations of achieving more acquiring more but in our rush and in our pursuit of uh, achieving these things quite often we forget to appreciate what we already have so happy people actually appreciate and they are grateful to what they are having if you are having food on your table if you are having a good life already uh, may not be you know in comparison to very very rich people or but if uh, a decent life we are having then we must appreciate that and be thankful and grateful for that the third habit of happiest people is they forgive others in our lives maybe in our personal lives as well as in professional lives quite often we come across uh, people who would have hurt us who would have probably ditched us who would have betrayed us or probably who have caused uh, some kind of a discomfort to us or who have not been faithful to us or loyal to us well uh, to carry a grudge on those people is like carrying a heavy burden is like carrying uh, you know rotten potatoes well they will only start stinking and they will only uh, cause more discomfort rather than giving comfort so to forgive is the best way of actually unburdening ourselves and reducing our burden and it will definitely help us move on the fourth habit which helps many people lead a happy life is slowing things down having the patience you know many studies have shown that people who have got patience and who persist with patience and who are not impatient with themselves and with their friends and colleagues they uh, tend to be happier they tend to be uh, you know derive more pleasure from their accomplishments and uh, it also helps us to kind of reflect on the the path and the direction that we are going the path that we are taking so slowing things down uh, reflecting on the decisions taking uh, balanced decisions 
keeping all factors into consideration is definitely going to make us happy. The fifth habit that helps many people achieve greatness and happiness is modeling the behavior of great people. Now, when we say great people, it doesn't necessarily have to be people who have been great in terms of the worldly uh, entire world's eyes. Uh, it's not just the people like Warren Buffet or uh, Steve Jobs or uh, Elon Musk or some other people who are known world over it can be somebody uh, or it can be a neighbor it can be a brother it can be a sister or a mother a father uncle or a friend so anyone who's close to us uh, actually has some qualities which we can practice so modeling the behavior and the habits and trying to inculcate and copy them actually helps us because they are the behaviors that have helped them the sixth and the final habit of happy people is investing in themselves we should focus on investing on ourselves in fact warren buffet in one of uh, his interviews uh, told the biggest investment that you can do is investing in yourself why should we invest in ourselves well we are important i am important you are important so you need to find ways you need to uh, upgrade your skills you need to take care of your well-being you need to sleep well you need to maintain good health you need to maintain a good uh, you know uh, thinking uh, have a positive attitude uh, surround yourselves with po people who think positively so investing in yourselves to to learn more to acquire more knowledge to acquire skills that are going to help you uh, in your career, in your walk of life, in your profession. That's one of the biggest habit that we need to do. That's all on Mudgal's Musings this week. Thanks for watching this video. So do comment in the description below which of these habits you're going to try out first. Till I see you next time. Have a wonderful time ahead. Bye-bye. And don't forget to like the video and share it among your friends and acquaintances. I'll see you in the next video.